Hello and welcome to another episode of Gear Toward Gear. My name is Sean and I am so glad you're here because today we're talking about fanny packs. Get excited, we're talking about fanny packs. I know I'm excited. So specifically, we're talking about the VanQuest Dendrite. They don't actually call it a fanny pack. They call it something like a sling bag or... It's, uh, I don't know. It's a fanny pack. Let, let's be real. Um, but I don't actually carry it that way. So we'll talk about carry options. But it is the VanQuest Dendrite. This is the size large. And I have it in all three colors that it comes in. So I'll show you those here in a bit. This is the one that I've personally been carrying for about four months now. I've carried this a ton in a lot of different settings. It's held up extraordinarily well. So I will show you kind of how I have this packed out. I won't go into every item individually. I'll do a kind of an EDC update in the future, but um, I will kind of illustrate to you how you could pack something like this out. But for the purposes of kind of the overview, I'll bring one in that is empty so you can really see all the features and pockets and organization and all that fun stuff. Uh, I will say these go for about 60 bucks. And sometimes the availability is, is really kind of hit or miss. Uh, they've been historically difficult to find uh, at times. I bought this one several months ago. The other two I had on pre-order, and those came in about a month ago. I loved it so much that I wanted to have the other colors. Really not for any reason that I can justify, other than I think it's a kick-ass bag, and I wanted to have some options in the future, knowing that sometimes they're out of stock. And if I wanted a different color in the future, I might not be able to get it. So that is that. Um, I'll also talk about a couple minor changes that I made to my bag compared to the kind of factory offering. So let's get this guy out of the way for now. This is the, the blue color. And we will bring in the other two, just so you can see the other two colors. And then we'll pick one to focus on for the review. So here's the other, or one of the others, and this is their gray color, which I think looks pretty fantastic. And the third color option is uh, what's called multicam black and you can see the multicam logo there um, and we'll use this one for for the overview i guess still got the tag on it um, so as you'll see it's made from genuine cordura fabric and man these things are just really really well put together i love the materials they're using it's got some cool features so let's talk about it basic dimensions uh, i'm not going to quote exact dimensions of every pocket depth width height you can find all that on the VanQuest website, which will be linked just down below. Uh, this does also come in a smaller size. I find this to be a small bag, which for me is perfect. The small dendrite, I am assuming would be far too small for my needs based on how I have my other one packed out. So just know that there are two sizes and you can see all the dimensions on the VanQuest website. So uh, first and foremost, you've got a pocket across the front with just a single zipper and you open it up, you've got a nice bright orange contrasting color in the background with that sort of ripstop material, which makes it nice and easy to kind of see what all might be in there. And it does not come with a zipper pull, it's just, just the zipper itself, and these are YKK zippers. Your next pocket is going to be these two zipper pulls here, and it's going to open like such, and we'll talk about this in a minute, this does not come with it. Um, and this is what you see on the inside. So you've got this clip comes with the bag. And I'm just going to take it out so you can see it a little more closely. So you get this little clip keeper keychain, whatever you want to use it for, it's up to you. And there's two points at which you could attach this. So I, in my bag, I just removed it all together, but it does come with that. Inside, you've got one kind of honeycomb pattern, partially uh, see-through pocket on the front flap here, which uses one zipper pull. Uh, does not come with a like a paracord pull, just the zipper. Again, YKK. So you've got that, and that's the full depth of the front of the bag, just like the pocket on the outside. Um, and it's got a loop field, so if you wanted to put some other organization in there, you could. Then. Moving to sort of the main area, I guess, here inside of the bag. Uh, as you can see, you've got one large slip pocket in the back. And the entire back panel is lined in hook uh, Velcro. So again, you could apply any sort of hook and loop accessories. Uh, you can put a concealed uh, firearm in here uh, using one of VanQuest or any other brand that offers a hook and loop uh, type holster. 
I personally don't recommend it, but that's a whole nother video. You've also got two more slip pockets, one on the right, one on the left. And then on the front of those pockets, you have some elastic keepers. So a lot of built-in storage, uh, which I really like. So the one big pocket, two smaller zip, uh, slip pockets, and a total of four of these elastic keepers. Uh, your last pocket or compartment is kind of somewhat hidden and it's on the back. So this would conceivably be up against your body and it's right here. There's a single zipper pull and you've got just a, a giant slip pocket that's about the same size as the other two that are across the front. So those are all of your pockets. Let's talk about the strap and the hardware real quick. So I love the strap. It's a seatbelt uh, style material, which I really like. It's comfortable, it looks nice. Uh, it tends to not fray as much as some other nylon type straps that I've used in the past, so I really like that. And it uses, uh, the, the name of the brand is escaping me, but um, I wanna say, actually, you know what? It's on the tag. Let's uh, reference a tag. Uh, let's see here. We've got uh, YKK zippers, Duraflex. There we go. Duraflex buckles. So these are, you know, as far as I know, Duraflex is kind of like the YKK of this type of uh, closure device. So these buckles are high quality as far as I understand. So you've got kind of a long strap and you've got one attachment point, just like such. So then you can sling this across your chest, across your back or around your waist, like a true fanny pack, whether it's on your rear or across the front, a lot of options for how you would carry this. And there's quite a bit of adjustment in this strap. I'm a very large guy, about 6'4", 275. And I wear this either across my back or across my chest. So I need a, a bit of a, a space, right, to get this around me. And I still have uh, some webbing left over. And it has a convenient little cord uh, or strap keeper, I should say. So your excess is not just dangling. Nobody likes a dangling excess, right? There you've got your little Cordura fabric tab to let you know that that is in fact what it is. Your leather VanQuest logo patch across the front. And you've got a little same kind of seatbelt material, little loop here on the bottom. I don't know really what a person might use that for, frankly, but uh, it's there. So yeah, that is it. That's a basic overview of the VanQuest Dendrite. And so now let's do a quick uh, comparison between this and mine, which is fully loaded out and just a couple kind of minor, um, uh, I don't want to say upgrades, but you'll see. So here is mine. Again, I've been using this for about four months, I've taken two road trips with this, it's been in countless restaurants, um, kids' birthday parties. I mean, it, it comes with me everywhere I go. So this thing has been thrown literally into a lot of vehicles. Uh, I've used this a ton and it still looks fantastic. So one thing that I did is I really dislike zippers that don't have some sort of a pull tab. And I happen to love these ones from Victorinox. They cost like a dollar each. So I added one to every zipper pull that did not have one. So that's the front zipper pull, the rear sort of hidden zipper. I added one, which you can still kind of keep it hidden. And then on the inside of the bag, that sort of see-through uh, section on the front also did not have a zipper pull. So I added one there as well. So let's start with this little front pocket here, open it up. I've got a uh, wallet, keys, you know, a few things in there, whatever you, uh, feel like putting in the front pocket, put in the front pocket. Opening up the main compartment, I'm gonna take out my sunglasses and I'm gonna take out this little um, bag here just to give you a little bit better view. I'm a huge fan of these. It's a coin purse from a company called Manhattan Portage. I use this as like my tech accessory pouch. So um, headphones and backup headphones and um, chargers and cables and that sort of stuff. And I happen to have one that matches every bag. So I have a camo one that lives in the camo bag. I have a gray one that lives in the gray bag and navy blue for this bag. But once you kind of get it opened up and I'll peel this back a little bit so you can get a better idea of sort of how you can use these compartments. I've got uh, this front pocket pretty well loaded up with stuff. 
Uh, I've got some like hand wipes, some Kleenex, uh, a, a bandana. This is kind of like my man purse. There's nothing really tactical or fun or overly exciting about what I have in here, but you can just see that you can fit quite a bit of stuff. The kind of main compartment, let me get my AirPods out of the way and this mask, I keep pretty wide open. The main compartment is pretty much empty other than these three items. Sunglasses, AirPods, and this little pouch. Otherwise, everything is pretty well compartmentalized. So you can just kind of see, you know, a power bank, hand sanitizer, a pocket knife, lighter, whatever you feel like putting in there. Um, I do use these little keepers to uh, use my own attachment points for a couple items that I uh, chose to keep in here. This is actually a holster. This hook and loop thing that you see here that has my power bank in it is actually designed as a holster. So that's what it would conceivably look like if you were to put a hook and loop holster in the back. And then same thing here, just a flat pocket. Um, I've got a few things in there, just kind of daily essential type stuff, nothing too exciting. But you can fit quite a bit of stuff, as you can see, in one of these VanQuest dendrites. And I find the size to be perfect. You know, it, you're not gonna be able to fit a giant water bottle in here. Um, but for me, this is, the best way I can describe my use for this is as a man purse. Like, it's like the same kind of stuff my wife would carry in her purse, I carry in here. Just daily essential type stuff. And I find that the VanQuest Dendrite does a phenomenal job uh, in that capacity. I think it looks nice. I really like the blue color and the gray color, frankly, because they're not, um, they're not so in your face. There's nothing tactical about this. And let's be honest, when you're wearing a fanny pack style bag, either on your waist or across your chest, there's nothing tactical about it. <laughs> Not at all. It's the opposite, frankly. And I kind of like that, to be honest with you. This one here that's in multicam black is definitely going to be a little more like, hey, look at me. I've got like my camo gear. And I don't know, honestly, that I'll ever use this. I may build this out to be a dedicated off-body concealed carry rig, but it's just not something that I really ever do. So uh, who knows what I'll end up using this for, but I just wanted to kind of point out the few different color options that you have, whether it be the gray, the multicam black, or the blue. I will also add that where the multicam is actual Cordura nylon, and just kind of look closely at that texture, right? Standard nylon like we're all used to. The blue and the gray are not the same type of material. It's almost like a, it almost feels like paper. You can kind of hear it crinkle. It's a really interesting material, super thin, very lightweight, but it just feels crazy, crazy tough. And it's very water resistant. They put like a, some sort of DuPont Teflon coating on it. Um, I've really quite honestly used this bag and tossed it around and had it in places over the last several months and I feel like it should look more beat up than it does. So I've been really happy with the overall quality and longevity of uh, this bag. So there it is, the VanQuest Dendrite in size large and the various colors that you can get it in. I will put a link below to the VanQuest website. And if I can find these in stock anywhere, I will put a link to those specific locations where it might happen to be in stock. If you have any questions about this bag or anything uh, comes to mind, feel free to drop those in the comments. And I will do an EDC update video in the future where I go into more detail on the individual items in my bag. But this again was more to feature the bag itself. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.